r slash ask reddit what is the greatest comeback to an insult you've ever heard in a heated argument my mom called my brother a son of a beach he replied you got that right as a pain in the ass child i was getting yelled at by my dad probably for doing something dumb or dong hated my dad had had it with my bullshit and yelled listen here you son of a beach i retorted it's not very nice to talk about mom like that dad zero stroke 10 would not recommend a friend of mine in first year university had never really dated any girls yet this dumb meathead that we were kind of friends with told him when you do get a girlfriend i'm totally going to duck her he responded if i had a girlfriend that would duck you her cheating on me wouldn't be the issue not quite an insult but I still think of this comeback to this day. I have two little brothers and it was my dad's birthday so the semi-extended family were all at a restaurant to celebrate. I had just graduated from my dad's alma mater, and my middle brother was currently a junior there. My youngest brother, a freshman, however, opted to go to state school. At one point my uncle said, So, youngest brother, how does your dad feel about you breaking the trend of our last name? men going to alma mater my little bro thought for a moment and then said well he probably doesn't mind considering i also broke the trend of not being able to get higher than a 3.0 the table exploded and my other brother and i just stared at each other across the table like holy duck did we just get brutally murderer it's especially funny because my little bro was one of those shy high school kids who went off to college and came back fun and socially confident i was hoping that development would happen I just never expected it to stab me in the ducking face. Gordon Ramsay asks his daughter on camera, so what's it like being the daughter of the most famous chef in the world? His daughter replies, I wouldn't know. Jamie Oliver's not my dad. Boom. Roasted. Random kid. I bet you can't see your penis in the shower my friend. Nope. Only your mom's head. Yes I know this comeback was taken from somewhere but that doesn't make it worse. Saw on reddit the other day, kid asking fat kid why he's so fat, fat kid responds, because your mom makes me a sandwich every time I duck her. From Casablanca, you got, you despise me, don't you, Rick, if I ever gave you any thought I might. When I was in middle school many years ago a bully was teasing an awkward kid about not being able to get girls and being gay and never being able to get laid. Another bully spoke up to the first bully and said, Beach you ain't had kitten since kitten had you and the entire class and the teacher started laughing. The original bully shut up. Update. Teacher didn't start belly laughing with everyone in the middle of the class. This occurred between classes. As students were coming in, teacher definitely heard, definitely smiled, and stifled his laugh. If I recall correctly, he said knock it off boys. Time for class to begin. Nobody clapped. No principal came in and clapped. This happened 30 years ago. Bully 1 is a police officer now. Bully 2 is a semi-truck driver. Awkward kid is a mechanical engineer. A neighborhood kid was picking on my daughter, and she replied with, I'm sorry you are so sad. Kid just walked away. Are you retarded? Why? Are you starting a club? Why am I not surprised that, on reddit, the best comeback to an insult is literally just a variation of no you. I heard a story once about some girls in an elevator who were insulting some black guy in another language they thought he didn't understand, Hindi I think, specifically commenting on his ugly black face. Apparently the guy waited till the elevator reached his floor, looked at them, and in perfect Hindi said better to have an ugly face than an ugly heart and left. Edit. I wasn't expecting all the attention so I just want to note some things. Number 1 seriously. I don't know if it was Indy so to all you people bad mouthing Indians apologizing on behalf of them. I could easily be wrong. Number 2. Yeah I know it might not have happened. The question was about great comebacks not true stories. Go duck yourself. Duck me yourself you coward. Oh man taking that one lol. A girl told me if I took my shirt off at the beach the glow would blind everyone because I was so pale. I told her at least when I go the beach people don't try to push me back into the sea. Winston Churchill is attributed some great ones. Lady Astor. Mr. Churchill. You're drunk. Churchill. Yes madam. And you are ugly. But tomorrow I shall be sober. And also. Lady Astor. Winston. 
If you were my husband, I'd poison your tea. Churchill, Nancy, if I were your husband, I'd drink it. Was jokingly asked out to your 10 formal prom in front of whole class by a popular girl who definitely had no interest in me. I without a moment's hesitation say no thanks Lauren. I have standards whole class and teacher lost it. I had a popular girl ask me on the school bus if I was gay, with her friends waiting in anticipation to laugh at my response, and thankfully my brain came up with I'd like to think I could do a lot better than you if I was. Sitting in a bar at 3am off of Bourbon Saint the windows are just open shutters. Dude who just left the bar leans in on our table to shout at some friends still in the bar. One of our group makes a silly snide comment. Dude leaning in smacks the table with an open palm and says, Everybody who ever loved you was wrong. Then he walks away without looking back. We still revel in that story. Edit. It was Harry's corner at Chartres and Domain. Also, for those of you saying how cruel this was, it was all said in the good natured camaraderie that can only be accomplished by drunks at 3am. We took it as a great insult and good fun. And all of us, including the insultee, just howled with laughter. Edit 2. My first precious metal. Thanks. Me Raspita Mulek. Aonika Razeo Kei Neo Su Tu Pai Acute Pork Tu Ami Neo Tin Her Troco Pra 20. Which roughly means. Show some respect boy. The only reason I'm not your dad is because your mom didn't have change for a 20. Who the duck are you? I'm the guy who does his job you must be the other guy. This place has more leaks than the Iraqi navy. Duck yourself. Can't. Tired from ducking your wife. Hey. How's your mother? Good. Tired from ducking my father. That entire movie was nothing but good quips and ducking hell. The a-hole has a point. During my university days, I ran into a friend acquaintance of mine, and I was holding a Green Lantern graphic novel. My friend introduced me to his current girlfriend and the first thing she says to me while shaking my hand was aren't comic books for kids. And I replied aren't those a cups for kids. Honestly I was in so much shock that someone I just met would say that to me that I replied on instinct. Still my greatest comeback ever. I was playing spades one time and a guy tried to let the game off with a spade. I told him he couldn't do that. Spades have to be broken first. He refused to play by the rules. So I refused to play. He started singing. The wheels on the bus go round and round. To imply that I was acting like a child. He asked me. Do you know why I'm singing that? I said. Yep. Yeah, cause I'm taking you to school. A street hustler is trying to hand out cell CDs and an overweight gentleman walks by and says no thanks. Hustler, if it was a donut, you'd eat it. Tubby, if it was a dollar, you'd beg for it. I've been called much worse by people much better. I have been called worse things by better people. This was Pierre Trudeau's, former Canadian Prime Minister, response to learning Nixon had called him an a-hole. My science teacher assigned a really hard test and almost everyone failed. Everyone complained and she responded with someone got a 93%. So it's not impossible. Then this one kid in the back said the answer key doesn't count MRS teacher. Today in one of my classes we were working on a project about careers. And one of the kids shouted I want to be a male stripper. The teacher responded I think you might be missing some of the qualifications for that job. Edit. The student was male. Just out of curiosity as to how good this actually was, for years, I was told that my sort of comeback was the best thing that anybody had ever heard, mostly because I was the quiet kid that nobody could get a rise out of, naturally, because they couldn't get a rise out of me, everybody tried to get me flustered by insulting me, or framing me for things that no teacher ever believed because it was never the quiet kid, essentially, I walked into class one day, and the teacher wasn't there. But this other girl, S, was up at the whiteboard writing out a long running joke about our teacher that pissed him off. It was about his assigned teacher number, and two years of developing a joke is a bit hard to explain. It became a bit of an inside joke. Either way, I sat down, she finished, and the teacher came in. Noticing what was written on the board, he asked who did it, and immediately, this girl and a few of the girls around her said, Seberin did it. Note. We were about 15 at the time, so they should have been beyond this. I don't know what it was, but something made me wordlessly walk up to the board, fix her spelling and punctuation errors, 
and then sit down. Only when I had sat down did I turn to the girl who'd done it to say, I have standards. The class collectively lost their shit, including the girls who hadn't seen it coming. And the teacher laughed so hard he went red in the face and cried. To me, it seems like they just found it so funny because it was me because I don't see anything particularly special or savage about it. Someone once told me I had a face only a mother could love. I responded with yes, your mother. I prefer you have a face for radio approach. I prefer you have a voice for radio. I said it once to someone helping me and he got a huge smile and said thank you. I'm starting my own radio show. I wished him the best of luck and we both parted feeling pretty happy. It was a good day all around. I was at a Jets home game back when the Giants and them shared Giants Stadium. Someone wearing a Jets jersey says to someone wearing a Miami Dolphins uniform. This is our house. Dude in Miami Dolphins uniform. You're in Giants Stadium a-hole. Lost my shit after that one. Edit. The stadium is called MetLife Stadium now. Crotchety old bat from my grandparents church. Why can't you be more like Michael? He's such an angel. Me. A 15 year old intellectual who knew Michael did things that would straighten the perm out of her hair. If you'd actually read the bible, you'd know Satan was an angel too. In 8th grade this kid yelled in the cramped hallway hurry up and move you'll smell like ass to which I replied it's cause your mouth is too close to your nose. And my junior year of high school this huge girl called me an ass wipe for no reason. So I said you're just mad I can actually wipe my ass. I once gave a classmate a penny and told him, it always feel nice giving money to the poor. He responds with thanks man. With this I can duck your horse ass mom and still get get change. Here's my favorite self burn. In high school math class, a nice, nerdy guy named Richard, a jerk whose name I forget. Let's call him jerk. Jerk keeps calling Richard Dong. Like, hey, Dong, did you get the answer to number 4? Richard keeps calmly saying it's Richard. Finally the teacher says Richard. What do you prefer to be called? Richard says I prefer Richard. Jerk says well I prefer Dong. After a few seconds of uproarious laughter from the rest of the class. Jerk realized what he said and sunk as far down in his seat as possible and never booked Richard again. We were teenagers in the 80s so this was the height of hilarity. I have read this historical meme where it went like this. British person. You. French people, fight for only money, we, British, fight for honor, French person, well, people fight for what they need the most. Alright so it goes like this, I had a bully in high school who was tiny, like under 5 foot, I was 6 feet 3 inches at the time so he would always pick on me, throw stuff at my head, push me around, stuff like that, I never fought back cause I hate violence. Anyway one day we were in a class together and the class went on lockdown. It wasn't a drill but we were told the campus wasn't in danger. So jokingly I said, I know why we're locked down. Maybe the zombie apocalypse started. The bully immediately replies, you dumb zombies aren't real. I shot back, yeah well we didn't think hobbits were real but you're standing here aren't you. He lunged at me and got in trouble. Edit. I should mention too that this kid later apologized to me and I completely forgave him for everything he did. Lots of talk of beating people up in the comments. Breed love not hate boys and girls. I heard this when I was in middle school. Kid 1. Your dong is the size of a tic tac. Kid 2. So is that why your mom's breath is always minty? Patting myself on the back for this one. I was helping a kid in class and a big bully kid said I'm a nerd for helping. Told him, well at least I'm graduating. Whole class went to, thought I had to fight the guy after so I watched my back the rest of the day. He didn't graduate, got caught with drugs and spent a few years in jail. Edited, jail was not punishment for not graduating. Private Hudson, hey Vasquez, have you ever been mistaken for a man? Private Vasquez, no, have you? I was in a Yahoo chat room, yes, I am old and was like 15 years old, some guy I had been talking to for a while, and whom I had told I was 15, sent me a dong pic out of nowhere, he asked me what I thought about it, I told him my mom always told me good things come in small packages, he was not impressed. My former friend was 12 years my senior and she fancied herself pretty heavily, she was okay, 
but I doubt anyone was losing sleep over her, dressed with her eye too young, trying to hold on to her youth. One day she pointed out that I was overweight and dumpy looking next to her. I'd finally had enough she made these comments often. And I said, well what about you? Excuse me. She snapped. I have the body of a 22 year old. Well give it back. You're stretching it out. You dress like a grandpa. That's why your mom calls me daddy. It's been told that former French president Jake Chirac once made the following comeback. Which is legendary in France. Some dude yelled at him Connard. It means a hole. Roughly. And he answered. Pleased to meet you. I'm Jake Chirac. From a drill instructor to another recruit in boot camp. Is that acne on your face? Or did you spend 9 months dodging the clothes hanger? This wasn't an insult personally but it was a comeback on behalf of a nation. My father is Irish and he used to work in California. One day a particularly condescending colleague complimented my dad's work by saying I never thought I'd get to meet an intelligent Irishman. To which my dad replied hopefully someday I'll be as fortunate with Americans. Which went completely over his colleague's head. My favorite when I was younger. People like to call others gay as an insult. When other kids would ask. Are you gay? I think you're gay. I'd simply reply. Now don't you go getting your hopes up. Between my mom and dad. Dad, my shot fell a little short when it came to my dream girl. Mom. Baby or a plumber with almost no teeth and fat you couldn't get your dream girl if you ducked her like a professional. My sister when she was 13. Maybe 12. She was fighting with my little brother. Three years older than her. And he was being aggressive and mean and she clearly yells. I'd call you a dong but you're so fake your dildo. My mom and I were in the kitchen and my mom yells at her. Go to your room. My sister goes upstairs and my mom has tears in her eyes. Choking back laughter. Where did she learn that? I told everyone I knew at the time. I called it the sickest burn of all time. It's still so beautiful. Not really an insult. My boss and I were trimming bird nails wings. I reached for the nail clipper and they wouldn't open. I grabbed the scissors and they fell apart. Finally the register froze when I entered my password to charge the customer my boss says damn girl. Just killing everything you touch today. Ha. Huh. I looked at him. Smiled. And touched him smack on the forehead. Boop. The customer watching laughed so hard my boss got spooked and lost his grip on the bird. A long time ago when mom jokes were the vogue in my early 20s. In the late 90s. And before I realized that courage wasn't just some level of manliness. I was telling a friend that they really needed to man up and tell someone the truth. I looked over and said dude. Don't make me punch you where your balls are supposed to be. All implying that indeed he was in fact. Ballless. Without dropping a beat. My friend just laid this one out there dude. You're gonna punch your mom in the mouth. Touche. Touche. Edit. Commas for the clarity. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.